Amazingly, we have about 380 kilos of material from the lunar near side on Earth returned by various missions, including Apollo, Luna, and Chang'e 5. What we didn't have until the middle of last year was samples from the lunar far side. Back in mid-2024, China's Chang'e 6 returned about 2 kilos of lunar far side soil and rock taken from the South Pole Aiken Basin area, and scientists have now published results of an analysis of the bulk characteristics of the samples in nature. We're particularly interested in comparing samples from the near and far sides because they can tell us a lot about the similarities and differences in the geologic histories of the two sides of the moon. The results show that the lunar far side samples are more viscous and clumpier than the materials from the near side. To quantify these characteristics, scientists use something called the angle of repose. This is basically the steepest angle that a granular material can be piled up without slumping. There are various techniques for measuring this angle, which we won't get into here, but the methods are outlined in the Nature paper if you're interested. The angle of repose for the far side samples is around 53 degrees, while the near side samples are around 31 degrees. The researchers attribute this extra cohesiveness of the far side samples to a combination of frictional, van der Waals, and electrostatic forces. The far side dust appears to be very fine, finer than the near side, but also more irregular in shape. This could, in part, be due to the more intense space weathering of the lunar far side. This kind of analysis gives us important clues to the way the dust and soil on the moon were formed, and also has implications for working with the lunar regolith to construct bases, mine materials, and so on. There's a link to the paper in the description. That's today's video. Don't forget to drop a like. I will catch you in the next one.